All right, let's bring in our legal guys on this case. Avery Freeman, a civil rights attorney and law professor in Cleveland. And we don't see him, but let's... Oh, okay, he's on the phone. Good. <laughs> and Richard I'm, Herman. I'm here. Okay, good. And uh, New York criminal defense attorney and law professor joining us from Las Vegas. You guys are always here. No matter what, no matter the technical <laughs> difficulty, Fred, you make it happen. Years, Fred. I know. It's, it's been a beautiful... One way or the other. One a way beautiful or the other trio. We get yeah, 15, right. 16 years. And that's you're good. You're only 29, Fred. It's amazing. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right. So this case is so disturbing. And we're talking about aggravated um, kidnapping, hate crimes being considered here now, uh, Richard. And I wonder if there's a whole other um, direction this case could go because it was live streamed. It happened on Facebook. Um, are, are prosecutors finished with trying to lay out what kind of case they're trying to build here? Well, you know, in our social media age, now criminals just video their crimes and live stream it. It's, it's incredible. It's incomprehensible. It's incomprehensible that for 30 minutes, Facebook didn't shut it down or complaints weren't coming in about this or reports were being made. But look, this is a reprehensible behavior by four people, three 18-year-olds, one 25-year-old. They're all going to prison, Fred. They're definitely going to go to prison here. They're charged with heavy felonies. But the most important one, that battery with a deadly weapon brings 15 years. And the reason they're bringing hate crimes is because of the uh, mental condition of the victim and what that hate crime statute does it could bring you zero to three years but yeah, it right. enhances right. it enhances the sentencing of the other felonies mm. so that's why they're doing that they're going to send a clear message that this behavior is not going to be tolerated ever again it is just so heartbreaking because we're talking about many lives here ruined and impacted. So Avery, you know, the Illinois hate crime law says this, a hate crime is committed if the offender launches an attack by reason of the person's race, religion, sexual orientation, nationality, or physical or mental disability. And is it what is said on this tape in, in conjunction with the behavior of these individuals that will help, uh, I, I guess, you know, constitute whether indeed it is a hate crime? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is exactly why Illinois and 46 other states have enacted laws like this. Um, the importance is, of course, in the sentencing. I mean, the, the lawyers that are going to be defending these four in this barbaric behavior um, are going to do their best to try to get some kind of plea. The difficulty is that if I'm prosecuting this case, I mean, how often? I mean, you're hoping criminals are stupid. I mean, this is beyond one's imagination. People are are, are posting and, and streaming this live. So you are essentially handing a sentencing judge the book. And that's exactly what's going to happen here, because the hate crime part of it is going to add three to five to felonies, which <laughs> appear mm. on video. I don't oh, know what, what possible defense can be it, constructed here. It, it's, it's worse than that, Avery. It's if there's a conviction on the hate crime and they get sentenced for the aggravated battery, mm -hmm. that battery sentence will be enhanced further by the judge well, right. if no, there's no, a hate I, crime I understand conviction. that. Mm. And sure. then that's but, on but the... Fred, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Sorry, Avery. Well, no, I, I, just no, want I, to say I, I think the thing. importance is that uh, hate crime legislation, there's federal one, most of the states have them, is essentially for the enhancement. So if you start picking on people because of what color they are, where they're from, for example, there's a consequence that is extremely severe, and that's what I predict is going to happen here. Mm -hmm. And then, Richard, we're really talking what? on the state level with that hate crime you know, statute, but what, now, what about on the federal level? Do you see that this case rises to that? You know, it, it probably could, Fred. There are federal statutes that were violated here, but I think the feds are going to sit back, let the state handle this. Mm -hmm. But I have, I would be remiss, Fred, as a criminal defense attorney, mm -hmm. not to mention mm -hmm. two things. As as we always say in a defense case, there's two sides to the coin. Mm -hmm. right. These people knew him. They did. This was not just a, an abrupt uh, situation. They oh. knew him. They had a relationship <laughs> with him. And at the end, you know, they said they tied him up. Well, he walked out of there, Fred. So, look, I, I, there's going to be convictions here, but I'm saying that there's a little more to it than just this okay. video we saw. Yeah, Richard Avery, thank you so much. Very troublesome uh, case. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Always love your expertise. Appreciate it. Happy New Year. You too. Happy New Year. All right. Coming up. First